What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Derby Day Classic player pack review Barcelona versus Real Madrid. We are going to be doing Real Madrid first and then we will get to Barcelona in a separate video because I want to go in depth. A lot of people ask me to go in depth on maybe two of the players in here. There are two standout players per pack, I would say that Fatty and Araujo are probably the best picks in the Barca pack. And then we've also got a center forward head-to-head -head in Lewandowski and Benzema. And then in the Real Madrid pack, which we'll be doing today, in this video, Valverde and Rudiger are fantastic players that I want to kind of get into. Especially if you're a newcomer um, and you're looking to pick up these player packs, I definitely think there's a lot of key points to look at with these players. So we are going to start with Real Madrid. We are going to start with Benzema. He goes to a 96 overall. He's got excellent stats. He's got excellent player skills and wavering form. Pretty much everything you could possibly want apart from speed, he has. So I think that he's a good center forward. Um, but to be honest with the way that the online is at the moment, I don't think that he's going to be somebody that you really use, especially because he is a deep line forward. So I am working on a video Per uh, play style for every player, you can see there under Benzema's name, if you are a newcomer, there's a lot of new people playing the game. You can see there in the pink writing that his play style is how he actually acts on the pitch with his AI. So Benzema is a deep line forward. Um, so that obviously changes up his card and how we'll train him, right? So we're over here on eFootballDB. We've kind of maxed out every stat that we possibly want. I think the key for me here is because of him being a deep line forward. I want him to be, you know, very offensive and really good finishing. I think 88 in the finishing is quite decent. I think for a center forward, that is not that fast. I think it's pretty much, you know, if you can't score with an 88 rating there and you're going to get the boost sometimes when he's on form as well, up to maybe 90, I think that 90 or 88, anything above 88 is going to be enough, <coughs> excuse me, to finish with. We've also got the tight possession of ball control that are 87 and 84 for ball control and tight possession, which is quite decent. We've also pumped in a bit into his passing as well. Because he doesn't have one-touch pass in his player skills here, we do want to get that one-touch pass style going, even without that player skill, which means we have to boost up his passing to at least a 78. So we've just rounded it up to 79. And then the rest of his stats, I mean, are pretty average. I think with the way the gameplay is, I don't think that you're going to be playing Benzema um, if you want to be, you know, winning a lot of games because he will miss chances and there are better options than him here. Now, this card is actually very, very similar um, to his standard card. Like, if you look at his standard card, he literally is just minus one in all of the attack stats, which is, you know, barely anything because he's got an extra level to go and he's also got minus three in heading. So realistically lads right if you were to train up the standard version of Benzema you're going to get a card that is identical to this card here so that you know do with that what you would like obviously you will need an extra point or two to put into team play style these players here with the El Clasico pack are, are set at 90 with the team play style so you don't need to worry about making him fit with your squad or manager but the standard version of Benzema is pretty much identical to this especially with the player skills and all that so that's just something to keep in mind if you are thinking of spinning for Benzema, you don't really need to, in my opinion. That's just me. Uh, I don't think you need to spin, spin if you are looking for this version of Benzema. Next up, we have got uh, Valverde, who is probably my favorite player of the pack and one of my favorite players to use in the game. Now, I have multiple versions of this guy. He's insane, man. He's insane. I know that there is a couple of better players than him there that kind of like come to the fore sometimes. And I like, uh, I don't like coming up against Valverde. Um, you know, but you do have a couple of similar players like Goretzka, you have a couple of similar players like Barella, and a couple of guys that can do a lot on the pitch, and you can train him up in multiple ways, right? So Valverde actually has 26 levels to go. He's got every player skill that you could want. Long range shooting, long range curler, acrobatic finishing for a center mid is, is very, very important if you're getting into the box with corners and you know volleys and interceptions. But then defensively, he's also got interception of fighting spirit. And then, you know, passing, he's got one touch pass and true passing. So the only thing he's really missing here is a couple of dribbling skills, which you don't really need because his dribbling stats go fairly high, right? So this is how we've trained up one version of Valverde. He goes to a 96 overall, insane player skills, as we mentioned there. And then he literally has every stat that you could possibly want, 85 or over, right? For this position, 85 aggression, uh, 86 defensive engagement, 85 ball control, low pass, speed, acceleration, 
and then he's got 89 stamina as well now depending on your play style depending because there's no one size fits all um depending on your play style if you play quick counter or you play a lot of one touch passing because he has one touch pass here um you probably can get away with this a little bit lower if you wanted to i would always keep this passing skill uh, or passing stat at like maybe 82 83 i will do a video on why uh soon but you know if you are looking for a big passer and somebody that can just you know pass a lot of really nice um balls into space and stuff like that with the way that v2.4's passing is gone a little bit chaotic at the moment you definitely could boost that up a little bit and have him less of an engine right so you could actually take away a couple of these you'll still have 87 um you'll still have 87 stamina and 83 speed you could put one into that and then obviously you could put one into aerial strength you'll still get your 96 overall but i genuinely think lads you know that you'll have enough in the pass in there you don't need aerial strength so i do think that having you know two into that is probably the key to get his stamina up as high as you possibly can you still have your defensive stats there's multiple ways of training him you know obviously if you don't dribble the ball a lot if you do a lot of i think dribbling is the most important stat now in the game um personally speaking um but if you don't dribble a lot you can pump in another into you know defending or you could pump in another into your acceleration to bring that up to 86 acceleration with 86 aggression and then you know you're not going to get the tackling up to 80 unless you really take away you know more of the more of the card uh stats there you could do that as well and get a 95 but i genuinely think that you know what you want for, with valverde is you know I won't say pace, but what you want with him is you want him to be a, a bit of an engine that can bring the ball forward in dribbling and passing. I think those stats, no matter which way you train him up, are going to be very viable. Next up, we've got Rudiger. Now, I want to show you, right, when we hover over Rudiger, this is the best version of Rudiger that they ever introduced. And I think that this version of him that they have here, this one, the classical pack, is probably better, lads. It's probably better, right? Now, if we take a look at the Germany pack here, this Germany pack is slightly better with stats that aren't really matter that don't really matter that much. Um, he's got plus three acceleration but minus three tackling, so it's kind of it's kind of one of the other. It's six of one and a half dozen of the other. There's no real difference. There's been multiple versions of Rudy, and all of these cards seem to be extremely similar, right? So when we look at this card, he's got eighty one tackling and eighty four aggression. The nominating contract one has seventy eight tackling and 84 aggression the germany pack one is 78 tackling and 87 aggression so it's kind of pick you know if you have a different version of rudy if you have this nominating one that was free eventually um you know you got the germany one or whatever if you've got multiple versions of him i would say that he's probably not worth spinning for but then if you are looking for one of the best center backs in the game it's hard to go anywhere you know past rudy like he's just so good man he's perfect height perfect weight perfect animations excellent defense stats excellent strength and speed and as you can see here when we train him up you are going to get an absolute monster at the back right he's a destroyer play style as well he's got everything that you could possibly want apart from blocker with the playing skills and his form is unwavering so i definitely think him and valverde are the two picks of the team pack um with this one i genuinely think they're absolute monsters there's my official my official my actual ultimate training guide with him 93 tackling 96 aggression 87 defensive awareness and then you've got 78 speed with 86 jump and also 72 acceleration which is more than enough you don't need acceleration for the defenders now with the way that the game is playing and then last but not least we don't need to spend too long on rodrigo because we're mostly looking at rodrigo as a super sub right he's on c form this week which is a bit of a pity you're not going to get the full you know um the full bonus of him but yeah, he goes up to a 93 overall, which is the same as the player of the week version here. Now, he go, he does go slightly higher than that, um, obviously, but I think that this is the best version of him. You've got 91 dribble and 91 acceleration, 88 balance, 88 speed, 86 ball control and tight possession, and then you've got 75 finishing and 72 curl. That's all you really need for a cut-in right winger. Um, you know, he's got everything that you could possibly want. True pass and first-time shot. He doesn't have one-touch pass, which is a small bit of a pity, but I do think that everything else is 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 on point with this guy. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. We will have him uh, compared to Ansu Fati in the next episode with this, where we'll be taking a look at the Barcelona pack. But off, until next time, lads, I will be back quite soon. That is it for the Real Madrid pack here. And uh, any questions, get in touch in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back later, lads, with some more videos. Peace.